Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So last night I released a two-year investigation into some M&S Select dairy farms. It's the first part of a three-part series where we'll be exposing UK dairy. So these farms were used in their promotional videos. They were their flagship farms, especially the first farm featured, which is uh, Charlie Langmead, who was featured in some of their promo videos. So these are the, supposed to be the best of the best, and M&S sells only RSPCA assured milk, apparently. So this is supposed to be the highest welfare category you can think of. And what did we uncover there? Well, what do we expect? Animals are treated as property. They're being systematically abused kicked, hit with uh, instruments. They're stealing calves off of mothers. They're also sending uh, cows to be slaughtered. And, you know, they're using them, exploiting them. And that's uh, what happens in farming. So no amount of humane washing M&S and RSPCA assured can take away from the fact that these animals are being used on a massive scale as units of production and they don't have rights protecting them. Now, Jane and Claire at The Independent have kindly reported on this, which is incredibly important that we have mainstream journalists bringing these stories out to the population, to those who need to see it. This isn't going to take down the dairy industry in one go, but what it does is it paints a picture of the reality of dairy and hopefully encourages people to move away from using animals as products and buy vegan products and plant-based products. So let's read it. So basically, uh, Claire and Jane have reported on the facts here. Um, they reported on the footage. If you wanna see that footage, you can go to the YouTube video, I'll link it down below. But what I'm most interested to see is how m and and the RSPCA respond to this investigation. So let's have a look. Let's start with Muller, because Muller is a separate investigation. We did also give that to the media. The video was on m and uh, Let's start with what Muller say here, but I don't have any, any expectations of Muller really. Muller just exploit animals for for profit, of course. They say this upsetting and unacceptable behavior is in no way representative of the high health and welfare standards we require from our supplying farms. Absolute nonsense. What does that even mean? Like what are high standards? Like no, just bare minimum, no hitting with poles, but slaughtering them's fine. We do not tolerate animal cruelty or poor welfare conditions on any of our supplying farms. Well, what is stealing calves from mothers? What is sticking an entire arm up the anus of a cow to impregnate them? What is dehorning? You name it. You don't tolerate cruelty to animals, but obviously your farms are filled with animal cruelty. So that's just, it's completely ridiculous and audacious for Muller to dare say, we do not tolerate animal cruelty. You'd literally make money off animal cruelty. Unless we, unless we have different ideas of what animal cruelty is. And if that's true, you have no right to speak about what is and isn't animal cruelty. And we work closely with suppliers to ensure our strict standards are adhered to and regular red tractor dairy assurance scheme checks are carried out. Well, obviously not strict enough. Hey, obviously your checks do nothing, right? Obviously having a red tractor dairy assurance scheme check does nothing. The regular red tractor checks are completely corrupt, obviously. Why is it up to us who care about the interests of animals to expose this? And of course, red tractor who look after the interests of farmers are never gonna expose it, are they? Why would you have red tractor who literally look out for the interests of dairy farmers and other farmers checking on their own farmers to see if anything's wrong. How the hell are animals going to be protected with this corruption? Absolute nonsense. We're conducting a full investigation. Oh, a full investigation. We just conducted it for you. We've already conducted it for you. And we've taken immediate action to identify the individuals featured in the footage and appropriate measures will be taken. What measures? Put them in prison. You should be put in prison for what you're doing to animals. That would be appropriate measures. You're only interested in managing the PR backlash and making money from the suffering and the killing of sentient beings. Now, this is the most interesting part here. So as an RSPCA assured spokesperson said, the behavior shown in this footage falls significantly below the high standards we demand of RSPCA assured members. And it's completely unacceptable for any animal to be treated this way. What high standards do you have RSPCA? The Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. You literally endorse gas chambers. You literally endorse uh, all forms of animal exploitation. Most forms. Well, the forms that, that are ubiquitous, like for food, you should never have got into killing animals for food to begin with, right? You should be completely independent of animal farming and police them independently, as do most animal rights activists. What you do is you encourage bad behavior from industry because what you're doing is you're certifying bad behavior from industry. You shouldn't even be involved with industry. RSPCA get actually a markup on animal products sold. They get a markup. You make money from this cruelty. You are making money from this M&S dairy farm where the psychotic dairy farmer is bashing cows with large broom-like instruments 
smashing them in the spine, terrorizing them. You are making money off that. Shame on you. Shame on you. Why aren't you leaving secret cameras in these farms and watching them constantly? Why don't you sift through the footage of animals being beaten and terrorized at your farms? Shame on the RSPCA. Shame on you. You will be remembered in history as an organization who endorsed some of the most horrific crimes against animals. And I'll make sure of that. Remove your assured scheme and independently police animal agriculture as we do. You can do that. You have enough donations to do that. RSPCA is one of the oldest running animal charity, is the oldest running animal charity in the world. Probably the most funded as well. You can police animal agriculture independently. Do you use red tractor vets to carry out these inspections? I don't even think you have your own qualified vets. So what it is, it's a bunch of like people going in, oh, we see that, we don't see nothing, oh, we don't see, whatever. It's, it's a bunch of corrupt nonsense. We launched an urgent investigation as soon as we were made aware of the footage. Well, of course you had to. Of course you had to. Did you launch an urgent investigation before you seen the footage? Well, you had no need to? Obviously your checks are not stringent enough. I don't remember the last time I saw the RSPCA go onto a farm without giving the farm any notice and secretly filming what the workers do and what condition the animals are in. I don't remember the last time I seen RSPCA do that. Why don't you have that as a clause when you have people signing up to your pathetic scheme and say, we can come unannounced at any time. Do you have that as a clause? And how come you, if you do have that as a clause, how come you never act upon it? How come it's always organizations that care about the rights of animals having to come out with these in investigations. How embarrassing for you. How embarrassing for you as an organization that you're there to protect animals. You're just falling flat on your face. Embarrassing, embarrassing. And don't you worry, the embarrassment doesn't end here because there are many, many organizations working hard to expose you and your charity is going to go down the toilet. And that's a dying shame. That's a dying shame because there is some good things that the RSPCA do for, uh, do for animals. But this here overshadows it. You can't say, well, we do good things for animals and then we're just certifying their chopped up murdered bodies en masse or certifying dairy farms. The dairy industry is so unethical to begin with, even if you took away all the hitting with brooms and stuff. It's so unethical to violate the rights of these animals, take away their calves, raise their calves for flesh, slaughter their calves, torment the mothers, right? Tormenting them by taking their calves away, exploiting them for something that comes out of their body and then killing them in a slaughterhouse for their skin and their flesh. That is so unethical to certify to begin with. I can't even begin to explain how, how, um, how backwards the RSPCA is, how backwards they are that they are certifying farms like this. It is a systemic issue in animal farming. You cannot have animals who are treated as property and also are looked after nicely. This just doesn't work. And even if they were looked after quote unquote nicely, they're not being looked after. They're being exploited and slaughtered for profit. Understand? It, I mean, I don't understand why the welfare movement doesn't get that through their head. Welfare, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Wake up. So you launch an urgent investigation, not urgent enough obviously not urgent enough. One of the two farms shown in the footage was not an RSPCA assured member. Okay, that's another investigation. Got that coming out soon. We'll release a full uh, version of that investigation very soon. The other farm has been suspended from the scheme pending further investigation. So you suspended it. You haven't removed it, have you? This is another one of those things. Oh, we'll suspend the farm. We'll wash, the, we'll wash our hands clean of it publicly. Like, oh no, we'll suspend the farm. Remove that worker. Do this and then we'll sign you back up to the scheme. This is what they always do. RSPCA, the new red tractor. We expose some horrible, even criminal animal cruelty at their farms. And then they say, oh, we'll, we'll suspend them. We'll clean our hands here. We'll get rid of that worker. And then they recertify it. They're not about to remove their certification scheme. RSPCA Assured is 100% funded by farmers and markups on animal products. That's how they get their money. They are the meat industry. And we exposed this in, our, in my documentary, uh, Pignorant. The other farm has been suspected from the scheme pending further investigation. This means they cannot currently market or sell any products under the RSPCA assured label. Well, doesn't matter because that label means nothing. It means literally nothing. All it is is a label, right? All it is is a smoke screen. All it is is marketing. So I remember this article here, uh, RSPCA assured announces new executive director, right? This was his career. 
He spent his career to date working across various FMCG marketing and commercial organizations within the consumer healthcare, confectionery, sweet treats, cereal, and dessert categories. Biscuit companies, cereal partners, Premier Foods. This guy worked in marketing. What are you trying to market? What do people in marketing do? They try to sell products. What has that got to do with RSPCA Assured, where you're supposed to be looking out for the interests and preventing cruelty and protecting animals. What has marketing got to do with that? You're trying to sell some more meat for RSPCA Assured so they get some more money. And that's absolutely fine for charities to get donations. We get donations, absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it, nothing unethical about it at all. But when you're getting donations from the very industry you're supposed to be policing, that is corruption. That is a conflict of interest. It's absolutely disgraceful and it's not going to work, is it? So here we go, we've got executive director, Marketing for biscuits. Well, animals aren't biscuits, mate, eh? Animals are not biscuits. They need protection. They need rights. They don't need a biscuit marketer out there trying to market their bodies and hoodwink uh, consumers like this is some kind of ad for, I don't know, a bourbon biscuit. So anyways, Animal Health and Plant Agency said animal welfare is our absolute priority and we, we always take any complaints of poor welfare extremely seriously. We urge anyone with any concerns about the welfare of animals on an RSPCA assured certified farm to contact us straight away without delay so we can immediately investigate and address any welfare issues as priority. Well, uh, you know, I'll, I will say this as well to the Animal and Plant Health Agency. Why aren't you doing what we are doing? You've got government funding. We rely on donations. Why aren't you doing what we're doing? Obviously, you don't take it seriously enough. If you took it seriously enough, it wouldn't take rogue investigators to go out and, and to do this because we see a massive problem and we're out there trying to solve it. But our hands are tied. We don't have the same kind of funding as the RSPCA and, and the government and government agencies, etc. You know, but we still are making an impact. Luckily, we have incredible journalists who are willing to report on this and we have our own social media and we do have incredible donors, grassroots donors who are, and, and grassroots activists who help share and get this footage out there so we can make an impact. So my question is, if you did take this so seriously, if you did truly care about the interests of animals, people like Red Tractor, RSPCA Assured and the Animal and Plant Health Agency, then why isn't it you bringing out these investigations? Why isn't it you? It's us and other organizations across the world. We do it. Because we don't want animal, we don't have an interest, a vested interest in exploiting and killing animals, do we? We want them to be free from exploitation. We want them to have actual rights protecting them from human exploitation. All right, that's our that's our goal. We know that in your system, animals will never be treated fairly. All right, because you can't have slaves that are respected. Profit is always going to trump their interests. So anyways, uh, yes, uh, don't trust any of these assurance schemes. Shame on the RSPCA, shame on m &S. You know, m &S have dropped this farm, which does harm their profits temporarily. But, you know, just, just remember these were the best of the best. The reason we're targeting the best of the best is because anything that is below that in, is going to be worse. If this is what the best of the best are doing, any other farm is going to be as bad or worse. This food system's archaic. It's, it's Stone Age. It's disgusting. And uh, we need to move past this. Everyone should live vegan. Everyone should be promoting veganism. Uh, we should be fighting for animals to be actually protected legally, not just have these crappy uh, wishy-washy welfare guidelines. You know, with the help of you guys out there, thank you for sharing our investigations. Thank you for all of your support. If we all work together, we can actually, you know, win this kind of David versus Goliath battle. But uh, it's going to need a lot of work.